Unfortunately, networking gets a bad name in some quarters. And the most common reason for that is when people go to events and they find themselves being sold to. Now for me, this is just never gonna work. And people who try to sell at events very rarely last long. But what happens is if you picture a room full of people, everyone's trying to sell. There's no one there to buy. So you end up with what I call the networking dance. And the networking dance is where two people go up to each other, introduce themselves, maybe exchange cards, and then one says to the other, what do you do? What do you do is the networking equivalent that you come here often. People don't care. But the second person then gives them their elevator pitch. This is the perfectly honed, crafted 30 to 60 seconds about what they do. The person who's asked what do you do and who doesn't care listens to the elevator pitch, just waiting for it to end for the next stage of the dance, where the person who's just finished giving their pitch will say, and what do you do? And they can deliver their pitch. The two then shake hands, separate, and move their separate ways. And it's a very unsatisfying experience for all parties, and that's why networking sometimes gets a bad name. Instead of trying to sell two people in your network, think about selling through them. Build relationships, find people you like, find people you can get on with, and build the relationship to the point where you want to help them and they want to help you. It's more fun, it's more satisfying, and it will produce much better results. And after all, who would you rather buy from? Someone you've just met at a networking event or someone who's been referred to you by a trusted contact?